Hi. Hello. Hi. So in all of our endeavors, with everything that has been going on, we out of the blue decided that I was going to change up my office. Okay? And in doing that, I'm going to move my work stuff to the desk and move our personal computer over to the table that I'm using for my office desk. Work desk. Yes. Okay? But in doing that, kind of a glorified table, so there's no real place to put the CPU. Yeah. Okay? So, we decided to get a CPU holder. Mm -hmm. Okay? We found a really, I want to say high-end, I almost hit you. <laughs> a really good rated CPU rolling stand mm -hmm. that, as usual, we find products and we use them for things that they weren't intended for. That's how we roll, I guess. But I think this one is technically what we are intending it to be. So what it is, is it is a CPU holder that can be used as a pull-out portion under the desk that you have a mouse pad for, and then you can use it as a mouse pad stand thing that actually goes under the desk and gets out of the way, and you can pull it out. A side table for your desk. Side table. Yeah, that's really good. That's a good way to put it. <laughs> but we're going to take it a step further, Okay. We're going to use this thing as a portable desk. Portable computer station desk thing. Okay. Main reason for that is, is because I moved up all the gaming stuff up here for game capture. I don't want it down to my office because I spend all day in my office. I really don't want to go back downstairs to play games. Or game capture. I don't want to do that. So, maybe this will work. Who knows? We're going to give it a shot, all right? So I guess I'm just going to build it on here. Ah, okay. It's was... pretty hefty. It, it is a very hefty one. I'll find it on our order history and put the link for it down below. But it is supposed to be pretty darn hardy. Which, for our purposes, we probably need it to be decently hardy. Well, that again was part of the journey of getting this because they had cheapish one, cheapish ones, and then we found this one that really didn't have a lot of reviews for it, but all of them that were on there said that it was really good quality. Yeah. This is some nice Ikea, packaging. IKEA flat pack is what this reminds me of. But if it's coming in the mail, that holds it really nice together, so it doesn't. You, you, you still have your finger there? I do. <laughs> okay, note when you take it out, hold both sides of the arms. Feels pretty sturdy. Here's the mouse pad. That's nice. Oh, so it's not actually built onto it. It's a legit... Okay. Yeah. I thought it was part of the design. No, 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 no. Did you even read the description when we bought it? You know, I was the one that put it on our order, and no, I did not. Right. <laughs> Hardware. Spacer. More pieces that can uh, pinch your finger. So we did go out of our way and buy the pseudo more expensive one, but one of the main reasons why we got this, and again going down that rabbit hole, was we needed it to be able to hold up a monitor and keyboard, that's what's going to go on the top here so it can roll around the room. And what's really nice about it is it's an adjustable height. And then, I don't know if you guys saw while he was taking it out, but one of the stabilizing pieces has almost like a pegboard style to it. So you can 
hook things to it or zip tie things to it. These are fairly tiny wheels for it. So I do think that your idea about getting potentially different wheels I have are going to be useful. I have two casters that are in the shopping list at the moment. Mm -hmm. I don't think these are the same, so I'll have to do a little bit more research. But um, the idea is that it would move easily around here. Yeah, because it'll probably be housed right, right over there, ish. Would be the idea. And then we can move it around to the chair or the couch if we want. Maneuverable, stationary things. Yes. As I said before, the biggest thing was I spend all day down in my office. I don't want to go back down there for gaming. You don't want to spend 90% of your awake time down there, basically. Yep. I feel more like a hermit than what I should. <laughs> and I miss the good old days where I got to just sit in front of the TV and you got to read your book. And I get to interrupt you with my game <laughs> while you're reading your book. And then you get to pretend that you're paying attention to my game. And that makes me feel good. And I know you're not really. But then you're half there because you know the story. I pay attention while reading. Ish. I don't necessarily retain all of it, but I got a lot of retain in this noodle. Last little bit, and I'll just tighten everything up, and then I don't know if we're gonna move everything up here tonight, so this might be separated into a different video. But we will do some type of picture or pseudo video after we get all the stuff set up as well. Sorry, doubling back a little bit because this is gonna be set up as pseudo, like as game capture as well. Mm -hmm. um, because it can carry the weight that we wanted with this. Yep. 
we're going to be able to attach the, uh, the microphone mount. We're going to be able to set up the camera mount on it. So my plan for this is to actually have... Basically a mini rolling desk. Yep. Mm. Okay. Flip it over and let me see it. It's so beautiful. It's a little sturdy. Okay, so that is the standard height and the CPU would fit under there no problem. Yeah. Okay. So what we're thinking, I believe this goes up 39 inches. It goes up pretty dang high. Hi. I got a dog. That goes taller than the table over there. So yeah, that would be not necessarily a standing working desk unless you're on the shorter end like me. But you wouldn't even be able to work at a stand with this. I would too. I mean I'd bend kill, over a little kill bit. Kill my back. I am like <laughs> Oh, I already have fingerprints on it. <laughs> but like, I mean, I would like it a little higher, but at like 5'4", like this isn't horrible. Like I'm not bending over at all to do anything. There is no way I would recommend this as a stand. Well, There's no. no way. <laughs> but if like, for instance, I'm here and just doing something and looking at a TV, like, it does look okay. decently well. I could see that. Okay, you doing that where you got a keyboard and then you're using a TV like that, I could I could see that. Right, like doing some sort of presenting or something like that. I could see that. <laughs> we'll have to play with the height a little bit. Mm -hmm. And more weight will probably... You got them locked. Well, even then... Did you lock them? I did oh. not. Okay, all, ah. four, all four don't lock. Only two of them do. Huh. So duly note when you put it on, only two of the four have locking mechanisms. Huh. We're going to migrate everything up here. Monitor will sit here. So either over there at the couch with the computer or somehow setting up the camera and microphone off of this and most mm -hmm. likely we'll connect them back here because we got clamps that will connect on this end so yep. we'll go around this way can we'll set up this way or we'll look at it face on so well we have some variability with it but it was an easy build and it seems like it'll be stable in what we want I so think it'll do what we want to. yeah that's it so that was the build we'll let you know and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. We ended up not keeping the stand upstairs. It was just too much to kind of move around and it didn't work with kind of the setup that we wanted to have for it. But we did move it down here. So now we have a very nice little side desk for all the stuff. And it still looks pretty down there. Well, it didn't work for us exactly how we wanted it to, but it did allow for Charles to get some separation between a work desk and a play desk. So it did accomplish at least that goal. So we'll have to figure out something else to maybe have a bit more flexibility, maybe a laptop, eh, future problems. But yeah, it works for us as a little dust table like it was always meant to be. See you later. Bye.